So welcome to this small video about the make buy decision in our supply chain. This is probably one of the most important core decisions that a company does throughout its lifetime. It's a question of what do we do ourselves and what do we pay others to do for us? And it comes down to a number of different factors that I'll try to go over in the next couple of minutes. Initially, there are two dimensions to look at. There's the process and there's the company. Whether the process is critical or non-critical means that how much of a risk are we taking by buying the service from an outside provider that can either be close by or far away? And how is the company at doing these things? Is it less capable or is it more capable? How good are we at it? In the essence, not that critical a process and we're really not that good at it. Of course, we buy it. The other end of the scale, we're really good at it and it's a critical process for our company's survival. Well, we do it ourselves. Think of it in the way that I'm not really good at cleaning. It's not really that critical for our business. So we hire a cleaning company to do for, for us. In the same way, our production of the components that we sell, well, we're actually quite good at it. And it is critical for our company. So we make it ourselves, the make or the buy. Then things become a little bit muddy if we're looking at things we're not so good at, but it's critical for our business. This is where we have the high risk of opportunism. This is meaning that a potential supplier can hold us hostage, so to speak, because we need it. It's critical for our business. Most of the time, you would look to build competencies in that area in order to make it yourself. If it's a low risk, well, you buy. But if it is high risk, well, you try to do it and build the skills. In the other side of things, we're quite capable of it, but it's not really that critical. If someone can cheat us, some suppliers can take advantage of us, well, then we make it ourselves. If they cannot really take advantage of, say, provide stationery or pens for our office setup, well, we buy it. All right. There's also another way of looking at this. This is looking at it from a core competence perspective. Core competence, as you might know, is a terminology from way back in the 70s, 80s about what is the critical skill in our company. And the idea is that we should try to focus our business on only doing what is our core competence. Core competence, therefore, is what we make or do ourselves. If it's in generic competence, we buy it or have someone else do it for it complementary competencies, something which is in between, something that we can do, but it's not really our best, is where we're looking at the transaction costs. How much is each transaction costing? We would often then optimize using, say, a standardized purchase agreement or similar processes, whether it would then be, say, an IT, in some companies, you would actually consider that as a complementary competence to get our company running. And we look at, would it make more sense to have an internal IT department or have it outsourced to a supplier? So this is the small talk about the make-buy decision. You need to consider, is it a core competence? Is there risk of opportunism? Is there... A possibility of being held hostage by a potential supplier or being cheated. That's the essence of it. And well, how good you are. Thank you for listening in. See you in the next video.